As the prolonged fight against COVID-19 continues, the global attention is paid to one thing: vaccine. UK already began rolling out the shots with a 91-year-old grandmother becoming the first person in the world to receive the Pfizer vaccine, which earned the first authorization. Even the Penguin T-shirt worn by her sold out with orders from all over the world. The U.S. also kicked off its massive vaccine shipments across the country. How are the vaccines being delivered across the nation and across the world? The COVID-19 vaccines require a cold chain that provides temperature-controlled environments during both transportation and storage. The range of required temperature varies by type of product. For example, Pfizer vaccine being distributed in the UK requires to be kept at cryogenic temperatures of minus 70 degrees Celsius or minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Recently, Korean Air, South Korea's largest carrier, has successfully carried 800 kilograms of a vaccine ingredient to Amsterdam using its cold chain logistics. Of the 800 kilograms, 208 kilograms was dry ice in special containers for medical terms to keep the cryogenic temperatures of minus 60 degrees Celsius, even without power, for 120 hours. The Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport raised the maximum amount of dry ice allowed on aircrafts from 3,300 to 11,000 kilograms because more dry ice means more vaccine materials to transport. For this to happen, the ministry will be to safety measures such as carbon dioxide emission inspection and installation of gas meters. Korean Air is among 18 aircraft operators across the world that have received the Center of Excellence for Independent Validators in Pharmaceutical Logistics, a certification for the air transport of medicines. It has been preparing infrastructure and flight schedules to safely transport vaccines, while expanding cargo capacity by converting passenger jets to cargo-only flights and removing seats on passenger aircraft. It also formed a task force in September dedicated to transporting vaccines. South Korea recently secured vaccines for 44 million people from four pharmaceutical companies and aims to start vaccinations starting early next year. Maybe vaccine transport is a new opportunity for the airline industry to get back on business amid the halting global travel.